Today, we're diving into the cold oceanic worlds of two popular seabirds often confused with each other, penguins and puffins. Both these birds sport sleek black and white tuxedos and spend much of their lives in and around the ocean. But they're actually quite different, starting from where they live to how they fly or don't. In today's episode of The Story of Animals, you'll know all about what makes each of them unique and hopefully impress a friend or two with some fascinating facts. First, let's talk about where penguins and puffins actually live. Penguins are iconic residents of the Southern Hemisphere. Though they're often associated with Antarctica, only a few penguin species call it home full-time. You'll also find penguins along the coasts of South Africa, South America, New Zealand, and even in temperate areas like the Galapagos Islands. Penguins are true Southern Hemisphere natives. Puffins, on the other hand, prefer the chillier waters of the Northern Hemisphere. They're commonly found along the coasts of the North Atlantic, from Canada to Norway, Iceland, and the British Isles. Puffins love steep cliffs and rocky islands where they can build burrows to nest and protect their young. So, if you ever spot a black and white bird up north, it's almost definitely a puffin not a penguin. Penguins and puffins may both have a dapper look, but there are some obvious differences when you look closely. Penguins are often larger than puffins, with some species, like the emperor penguin, growing up to 1.2 meters, 4 feet tall, and weighing over 35 kilograms, 77 pounds. In contrast, puffins are compact little birds, usually reaching only around 25 centimeters, 10 inches, tall, and weighing less than 0.5 kilograms, 1 pound. And those beaks! Penguins have relatively slender, pointed beaks that help them catch fish and krill. Puffins, however, have brightly colored Triangular beaks, especially during the breeding season, when their beaks turn vibrant orange and red, a feature that has earned them the nickname sea parrots. This color fades in the winter, but it's a fascinating seasonal change unique to puffins. One of the biggest differences between penguins and puffins is their ability to fly. Penguins are grounded, and while their flippers make them extraordinary swimmers, they simply don't have the wing structure or body weight to take flight. But that doesn't stop them from being agile. Penguins can reach impressive speeds underwater, often swimming at 6 to 8 kilometers per hour, 3.7 to 5 miles per hour, with some species capable of going even faster when they're porpoising out of the water for bursts of speed. Puffins, however, are excellent flyers. They may not be the most graceful birds in the air, but they can flap their wings up to 400 beats per minute, allowing them to fly at speeds of up to 88 kilometers per hour, 55 miles per hour. They're also skilled divers, often using their wings to fly underwater in search of fish, similar to penguins. So while penguins rule the waters, puffins are masters of both sky and sea. Penguins are famously social animals, with many species forming large colonies on land during breeding season. Emperor penguins, for instance, huddle together in massive groups to keep warm in the harsh Antarctic winter. Both male and female penguins 
often take turns caring for their eggs and chicks, with some species known to mate for life. Their strong social bonds and cooperative parenting make penguins incredibly dedicated parents. Puffins also form colonies, but they're much smaller in scale compared to penguins. Puffins are also seasonal monogamists, meaning they often return to the same mate each year, but may seek new partners if their old mate doesn't return to the nesting site. Puffins dig burrows in cliff sides where they lay a single egg, which both parents take turns incubating. Interestingly, baby puffins are called pufflings, and when it's time for the young to leave the nest, they make their way to the sea on their own, guided by the moon's reflection on the water. Now, let's spice things up with some fun facts. Did you know that penguins have more feathers per square centimeter than almost any other bird? Their dense, waterproof feathers keep them insulated in freezing temperatures, especially for Antarctic species. Puffins, on the other hand, have an adorable habit called billing, where they rub their beaks together with their mate, a behavior that strengthens their bond. It's a bit like a puffin kiss. Another cool fact, puffins are known to carry multiple fish crosswise in their beaks when feeding their chicks. Some puffins can hold up to a dozen small fish at once, thanks to their unique hinged beaks. So, while penguins and puffins might look similar at a glance, they're actually very different in terms of habitat, physical traits, and lifestyles. Penguins are the masters of the Southern Hemisphere, thriving on land and in icy waters, while puffins prefer the Northern Hemisphere, making their homes on cliff sides and island coastlines. And of course, puffins can fly, while penguins remain grounded, but are superb underwater swimmers. Next time you see a puffin or penguin documentary, you'll know just how different these fascinating seabirds are. Thanks for joining us on this wild adventure with the story of animals. If you love learning about the incredible creatures that roam our planet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Let's keep exploring the wild together. And don't forget to comment below on which animal you want to see next. Until next time, stay curious and keep celebrating the wonders of wildlife with the story of animals. <laughs>